Now we're about to install a module called Admin Toolbar. Let's do a quick search in Google to pull it up. I'm going to click on the top link here. Modules will always be in the project folder of Drupal.org. You can see a little GIF of what's going on here. As you hover over menu items, it reveals drop down menus, and those menus go several layers deep, which is something that the default toolbar can't do. So, if this module is so useful that we're going to install it right away, why doesn't it come with Drupal Core? The basic guiding principle is that a module in Drupal Core should satisfy the needs of 80% of the use cases out there for Drupal. Many modules have been removed from Drupal Core because they don't meet that criteria. But even if a module does meet that criteria, there's several other things that have to be in place. The module has to be mature, typically having gone through many iterations as a contributed module, that is a module that isn't shipped with Core but is available on Drupal.org. It also has to have enough people interested in integrating it with Drupal Core who can also create that version of the module. And a lot of times the people who are able to do that are already strapped for time working on other parts of Drupal. In this case, there's an additional factor, which is that even though it's a useful module and solves the problem of getting around complex navigation fairly elegantly, there are several other ways to approach that navigation as well. So even though this clearly makes navigation easier, it still might not be the best possible solution for 80% of the use cases out there, though something like it would definitely be useful.